thanks for watching. Uh, today's gonna be a short video today, and I'm pretty much gonna go over how to change the speed sensor on a E series BMW. So today I'm just working on the front. So it's it's pretty much the same for the front and the rear, and the only difference is it's depending on which side you're working on, such as if it's the driver's side front or the rear passenger you'd have to deal with a brake sensor you just got there's only a difference you got to check which one to unplug and then the way to check which one to unplug is which one is connected to the hub so yeah it's pretty easy to figure out one connects to the hub and the other one connects to the brakes so yeah so this is the christmas tree of errors that i got abs a brake service engine light and the whole dsc thing uh i scanned it and pretty much the error i'm getting is wheel speed sensor front right so that's the passenger side speed sensor i gotta change out so i bought two speed sensors one for the passenger side and one for the driver side i already did the rears because they went out on me like two months ago the great thing is that now i'm able to use my new stool that my girl got for me for my birthday so got the creeper also so i don't have to be on my back so i'm happy about that so this should be Pretty cool, cause I'm gonna be in front of the wheels. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get this car jacked up and the wheels taken off and get this thing ready. So also shout out to all those Tauruses. <laughs> all right, so the good thing is once the wheel is off, you could go ahead and uh, just pop this tab up. This little black box and wiggle it up. And see this tab? We're just gonna push it in and pull it out. Be careful because it might be brittle as heck. It's gonna like fall apart in your hands. So if it breaks off, don't worry about it, as long as you can still able to, well, as long as you don't break the pins, you'll be all right. And if you follow this line, since this is a passenger side, it doesn't have the brake sensor on there. So it's only just gonna be this one line. On the driver's side, you'll see two lines. So it'll be the black one. And you can pretty much tell which one it is by seeing which one goes into the hub which you can see right here. So the bolt we're trying to take out is this one right here. And we're gonna go ahead and use the 316. All right, so it is out now. And generally sometimes what could happen is if you clean this up and put it back in, it should start working again. But I'm gonna go ahead and just replace the whole thing because I don't feel like taking this out, clean it up, put it back in, and it just doesn't work still, so. Go ahead and replace it. So this is a new one and it looks exactly like the one that came on the car. So we're gonna go ahead and put this back on the same way that we took it out. Just doing everything in the reverse order. So we're gonna stick the one end into the hub, bolt it in and then route the wire. Plug in the connector that's attached to the car and close the door. Put the wheel on and drop it back on the ground and we should be good to go. Thanks for watching. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the driver's side front. And it's the same as the passenger side, as I said before, it's just the addition of the brake sensor that you gotta not disconnect, which is pretty easy. Don't disconnect it, just connect, disconnect the other one. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video.